Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can freely resize an image using Canva. Let's get right into it. So I have got a YouTube thumbnail and I want to make it perfectly fit in this grey box. So let's try and do it. So I'm going to shift click and drag my image to fit in the grey box and as you can see it does go in the grey box however Part of the thumbnail has been cropped and we don't want that. So we're going to delete the thumbnail and then redrag a new one in. So I'm going to show you how you can resize this image to be any aspect ratio you want without cropping part of the image. So firstly, make sure you have your image in your Canva project. Then I want you to click on it. After that, I want you to click on edit image. That's up here. After that, I want you to go to the crop button here. And after that, make sure the aspect ratio is selected on free form. So if it's currently on 16 by nine, just click on the free form aspect ratio. After that, I want you to look at the four little corners. As you can see, there are little L icons in the corners. I need you to drag these four L icons so they are not in the corners of the image. And you can drag them to be wherever you want. Just make sure the four L icons aren't in the four corners. So now you'll see there are four circles. I want you to hold the shift key and then drag the circle to where you need it to be. So I want to make this image fit in this gray box. So I'm going to drag it to be in the corner of the gray box. After that, we're going to do it for the bottom circle as well. You need to still be holding the shift key while doing so. Then we're going to do it for the other corner. Make sure you still have the shift key held. And then for the final one, we're going to do a tiny little adjustment. And there you go. And currently you can see a faded out resize of the image where we don't lose any of the image and we've changed its aspect ratio. Once you've done that, you can then click done. Now what you need to do is, you need to make sure that same image is still selected. And you'll notice there are circles in the corners, but also little rounded rectangles. Drag the rectangles. And as you can see, you're going to be revealing more of the image that you initially cropped off. So drag the rectangles until the image is fully revealed. And as you can see, I have now resized the image to a different aspect ratio without losing any of the image. And if you just go into another page and drag and drop this in, as you can see, that's the original. This is our resized one. As you can see, we haven't lost any of the image, but the aspect ratio is a little bit different. Now, if you drastically change the aspect ratio, it could squash or stretch your image. However, occasionally you just need to change it just a tiny bit to fit into something for whatever reason. So anyway, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.